In the second part of this series on Visio connectors, we are going to connect automatically. We're going to look at how to toggle auto connect on and off at the document level rather than at the drawing level. And then we will select all connectors and then quickly change the look of all of your connectors in a diagram. So let's take a look at this first one here. And that is the ability to connect our shapes automatically. So it's easy, of course, to drag and drop a shape onto the canvas like so. But once a shape is on the canvas, you can click on it and just hover the mouse. And well, what's going on here? You should be able to connect automatically. Well, what's going on here is that that is not enabled here at the document level. So to do this, we need to move from the Home tab to the View tab. And then from the View tab under Visual Aids, we want to toggle this thing on right here, Auto Connect. Once I Auto Connect and then hover, you see that there you have four arrows. Well, it'll depend on this, the shape you're working with. But in the case of this diamond here, I've got four arrows. And if I hover over one of those arrows, I'll do the one on the right side here. I then get this little mini toolbar that pops up and I can select from an oval, a circle, a square, or a rectangle. And of course the technical term for the oval is the ellipse. But now if I just give the rectangle a click, it adds a rectangle to my drawing. So once that connection is made, how is this shape attached? The two shapes are connected dynamically. So now if I move this around, notice that the connection point, keep an eye on the connection point from here to here, it's going to change. It's now going to be from here to the bottom. It's now going to be from the bottom to the side, the right side in this case, and now back to where it was more or less. It's now from the right side of the diamond to the left side of the rectangle. So do you see how these things kind of build on one another? Do you see why we take a look at all of the Visio connectors in a series? Because if you didn't know what a dynamic connector was all about, then this would make less sense than it otherwise might. Now, what if you hover over the rectangle and you want to continue building maybe a flow chart and you wanted to connect to a parallelogram or a pentagon? Well, you see that these four shapes here are set and the reason why these shapes live here in this quick access toolbar is because of the order that is shown to you up here in the basic shapes stencil. So it uses these shapes that are at the top of the stencil. So if I rearrange and drag this pentagon up above the ellipse here so that my pentagon is one of the first four in the stencil and then I hover over the rectangle once again, now I have the ability to add that pentagon. So just drag and drop your stencil around if you need to rearrange your quick shapes. Now in terms of turning Auto Connect on or off at the program level, this is the document level setting. If you want to do it at the program level, you go to the Backstage View. So File, and then we want to open up the Options. So this is at the very bottom, you click on Options. And then from Options, click on Advanced. And then from Advanced, you enable Auto Connect. Now if it's on here, and then it's off here, what is the setting? Notice that the setting now is that it's off. So this is an override. So if it's off on the program level and it's on here, you'll still be able to use Auto Connect. Now, the next thing we're gonna take a look at is this one here, selecting all connectors. As I do, I'm just going to do some quick little rearrangement of my connectors in this very simple Visio diagram. And now let's select all the connectors. Now, if I did something like that, a big lasso select, I would select the connectors and the shapes. In fact, I didn't quite grab the diamond like I wanted to. But this is a way to select both the shapes and the connectors, but that's not what I wanna do. What I wanna do instead is use the Home tab of the ribbon and go to the Editing group up here and in Select, Select by Type, I can select the Shape Roll. And in this case here, I could leave all these checked because I don't have any containers or callouts, but to be sure, I could uncheck that. And with a, just a few clicks of the mouse, I am selecting all of the connectors in a diagram. Now, if you're just selecting two, that's one thing. You can just select one and two, but if you have a larger diagram, this can really come in handy. Now, once that's done, you can quickly make changes to all of the connectors in your diagram by using the shape style. So you can change the pointers to green if you wanted to. You could change the line. 
and you could certainly add some weight to the line if you wanted to do that so you can see the results of those quick little changes. You know how to use the shape styles, the fill, the line. Another option you have is that when you give a shape a right click or if you have them all selected and right click on one of them, you can format the shape. So another way to do that is to change how things look using the format shape pane. Now that brings us to the last item here in terms of changing the look of connectors. One of the more annoying things, at least in my opinion, about Visio is that as you start to move shapes, the default connector is going to be this right angled connector, as you can see, and that doesn't always make the prettiest looking connectors, or at least in my opinion, it doesn't make the prettiest connectors. So what I will do first is I will select all of the shapes, or all of the shape connectors, I should say. And now that these are selected, I'll go ahead and right click and I've got this little option here. I've got these three options from the right click menu, right angle connector, straight connector, or curve connectors. So with a straight connector that is dynamic, I can build a diagram that looks something like that. And just for fun, let's say I want to indicate a bi-directional relationship. I will choose a begin arrow type. And so now that's what my connectors look like in my diagram. So feel free to play around with these options to your heart's content. But the important things to know, certainly from this second lesson in the series, is how to work with automatically connecting your shapes, toggling that behavior on and off, and then changing the look of all of your connectors, including whether that connector is straight, right angled, or a curved connector. Have fun, and we'll see you in the next one.